Today we're going to talk about wheeled boards, an accessory that I've worn several times against in the past, and for which I still get a steady stream of questions about what's wrong with using them, simply because the idea is, of course, quite useful, and also, presumably because there are so many of them out there, both from generic manufacturers, making boards designed to fit virtually any stroller, and also by stroller brands themselves, where it seems that almost every major producer has put one out, usually with a wide variety of adapters, such that it can be fitted on everything from the biggest models in their lineups down to the absolute smallest. So what's the problem with wheeled boards then? It's simply that, throughout our years in the workshop, the use of wheeled boards is one of two accessory types that have easily accounted for around half of the damage on models coming in for repair, with the other accessory being those giant carabine hooks that people use, presumably for lugging around duffel bags full of bricks from their stroller handles and the vast majority of strollers are just not initially designed to take the sort of weight on their rear frames that wheeled boards entail, which thus leads to significant acceleration in the wearing down of the chassis. And note that my firm belief here is that this is just as much the case with brand-specific wheeled boards as it is with generic boards. I simply don't believe that manufacturers have done the testing to fully assess how their boards will affect the strollers that they plan to attach them to, especially when it comes to smaller, more fragile strollers like Ultra Compacts, but even with bigger models as well. They may have asked their engineers whether the components can tolerate the weight mathematically, and they've undoubtedly strolled that weight around the room a couple of times. But this is a very different thing from real-world use, with rougher, bumpier environments, actual three-year-olds hanging onto the handle or the seat frame, and taking into account not just the initial strain, but the effects of these factors six months to a year down the road. And what I've found in the workshop then is that strollers used with wheeled boards loosen significantly across all their connection points and can develop a variety of real problems, including bent wheel axles, broken ball bearings or rear frame wheel housings, problems with attaching or detaching the rear wheels altogether, problems with the brakes from bent locking pins, broken suspension mechanisms, splits in the plastic of anchoring points for the rear frame bars, and severely worn or broken central folding mechanisms. Wheeled boards can be a very tempting accessory, I get that, but if you need a setup like this, then it's smarter to just get an eye candy or some other model where the board has been pre-integrated into the rear frame, so that there's more chance that the manufacturer has taken the added weight into account when planning out the entire chassis. Otherwise, I just feel it's worth giving the warning, since we've seen the effects of this accessory from the repair side of things, that you will be reducing the longevity of your stroller. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.